Welcome to a lesson in how the way we think about the meter profoundly influences our sense of rhythm, for better or worse. Boo worse. It's going to be a revelation, I promise. Let's go. What we have in the background is a four count at 60 beats per minute. And what we're gonna do with it is count along out loud, verbalizing the meter. And we're gonna do that in three different ways. The first way, let's count all the downbeats in a very disconnected manner where each downbeat is gonna be expressed as a separate distinct impulse from all the others. Ready? Here it goes. Here it comes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Second way, let's verbalize all the downbeats, but let's try to do this as one continuous breath throughout. Ready? Here it comes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Now, let's try it. One continuous breath, but let's add the up beats as well, like this. Here it comes. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Hmm. I suggest you pause the video and try that yourself three different ways and just pay attention to I don't know. I'm not going to give you a clue. Pay attention to whatever you think you need to pay attention to. And then we're going to talk about it. So let's talk about the experience. Yeah, one-way talk. I can't speak for anyone else but me, but what I notice is that my body automatically, emphasis automatically, and instinctually, emphasis instinctually responds to the way I'm thinking about and verbalizing the meter. Hmm, interesting, huh? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's just something unsatisfying about that. Uh, in a few different ways. In my experience, I just feel like I'm trapped in my head and I'm not getting enough of the music in my body. And it also feels like each one of those beats is just an isolated event, dis totally disconnected from all the other beats. And because of that, I, have a, I find myself just having a hard time keeping the time because there's like no sense of continuity or anticipation of when the next downbeat is supposed to arrive. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Hmm, a vast improvement over the previous version, right? Um, but, you know, to my sensibility, it still feels like I'm struggling to try to connect those downbeats to each other by like, you know, one, two, kind of stretching those out. I'm trying to connect them with each other, the downbeats, and failing miserably. And so it still feels like it's a little bit too digital and not analog enough. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two,
One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Wow, what a profoundly different experience that was compared to the other two ways of thinking about and expressing the meter. Well, one reason for that is because we thought about and expressed the upbeats as well as the downbeats. And that helped us to cultivate a sense of continuity rather than just the downbeats Click, 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 click. Expressing the upbeats as well turned what would have been a digital conception of the time into an analog conception of the time. And I hope you could see it expressed, by the way, perfectly spontaneously in my body language. Right? And Another key point is because that expression is more natural, it automatically also becomes more musical. So allow me to close this video out with four big takeaways. And uh, by the way, I'm going to read them because I want to be very careful about my choice of words because there's a lot of subtlety here and a lot of room for confusion if I pick the wrong words. So, number one, musical time is analog, not digital. Two, the musical way to think of meter is as continuous cycles, not separate precisely timed events. Three, rhythm is not arithmetic. Rhythm is movement. And so rhythm cannot be fully understood by counting inside your head. Rhythm can only be fully appreciated by moving your body. And four, when you think about meter as analog, not digital, something really remarkable happens. Your body instinctually and naturally expresses that meter in a way that automatically looks, sounds, and feels musical. How's that? <laughs>